Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Valkyria Chronicles. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're supposed to join me today as we try to bring down some tanks, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Probably not going to bring down some tanks. Our own tank is sort of around here, which is great. Uh, we're going to need some repairs over there, but uh, we also are... It's very many bad things that are going on right now. Um, so, yeah. I'm not really sure what is going to happen. So, first off, let's get our uh, engineer up in here to yeah just uh are you fixing things she's got a status they have reinforcements by the way i got a grenade engineer tool heck yeah that's not the sound of an engineer tool did he fully oh Yes, that is what I'm gonna do. That is great as well. Okay, so she's gonna be very vulnerable Out of range. if I'm not careful. Okay, we're gonna keep her over here. Uh, we are gonna need to bring down this tank, and I think I might be able to. Sh I don't know how I'm gonna be able to move though. There's a these little crosses. I don't think they are lions, uh, lions thingies or anything, so we should be fine. Um. I could also try to go, going over there and shooting that guy, trying to flank them a little bit. We don't have too many turns, and they're bringing reinforcements, and uh, yeah, it's kind of tricky. Entering combat. Yeah. So my strategy is going to be to try to flank this tank over here that I'm looking at just now, um, and uh, and bring down its tracks. I see Gallians headed your way. Be careful. Enemy sighted. Shut up. Enemy sighted. Time your shots carefully, soldiers. Can you do that? No. Yeah, I see that. Now. <sighs> Well, we're in a position now. Watch your surroundings. That's not gonna do anything, dude. But one of them is gonna go down, which is good. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this guy twice. Yeah, you you can't do anything. So I should be able to bring you down. What in the world? Here we go! That okay, guy's annoying. Now. Oh, come on. Oh. Here we go. So he didn't do anything? He's just missing. This is worrying. This is really worrying. Okay, so... Reinforcements have arrived, yeah. I'll snipe you all. I didn't really see what they were. Don't aim. No, no, that's us. That's us aiming. Can you not counter? Can you not shoot? You can shoot. You can absolutely shoot. Oh, you shot the wrong weapon. I mean, at least you hit. He didn't shoot, though. This is interesting. We should be able to get them all. Mortars can also be very, very useful here. One thing is, you see that uh, fuel line on the tank that has the tra tracks broken? On the one that's to the right. The one that's in front of us doesn't have a tread track stroke broken. This one. So that's a little bit of damage, but he's only going to be able to shoot once. This guy's going to move again. That's interesting. That was wasteful of them. Okay. So 
so you can do good things, but we're gonna need our snipers in here. You say so. And we need to optimize our movement because these guys are not very fast. Come on, give me the other one. There you are. I can't. I still don't have one of sight. This is really dangerous. Okay. You're really injured. You're not. Really injured, I mean. Am I gonna shoot two See shots with him? I am. The other sniper can wait. Order's in order. Okay. Any shot here will do. So maybe I shouldn't fire with him. No, he's he's behind cover, so I can't do that. You are a jerk. There are reinforcements. You absolutely need to die. That didn't quite work, unfortunately. Order's in order. I'm gonna get him a little bit closer. Come on. Give me this. Mouse, mouse, mouse. Easy mark. <sighs> okay. See what you get? Just shut up. Just shut up. Okay. It's a little bit of a waste. Uh, wasted thing, but it's fine. Gotcha. Alicia okay. should be able to get the two of them. Uh, not really. I'm worried that the tank will shoot at her because it probably will. What's that? That's a scout. Okay. And you're gonna die? That's very lovely. That is... The opposite of lovely, by the way. Moving out. If you're wondering, which I know you're not. Now. Okay. Yeah, I don't want her. I don't want her to go in there, and I don't think I can see the other one. So. Stop the enemy from breaking through. Yeah, we're gonna just hang back. So what do I want to do here? I really do want to kill you. So what I should do, because that guy's tracks are... No, don't do that. Because that guy's tracks are down. I really should bring yours down as well. Because we can take the... Te the Fire! We can take the, the hits. With this tank. Even though that if they were smart, they would be shooting at those things. Okay. And... Uh, bring the other sniper up. Might even be able to lose a shot somehow. On a move now. It's not too much to ask, even though it is sort of a long shot. Yeah. Make use of the watchtowers. Come on. There you are. Hello. Not you though. You. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to you. Maybe there's something I can something I can do to somebody else though. Cuz I think this guy's doomed now to uh I don't know if that did damage. Oh, he's not under Great. Great, great. Okay, although it's possible that they will ruin my my day with mortars. And I don't know what that other guy that's blinking over on the left side is going to do. Should have switched the weapon. They're just mostly wast wasting their time. Fire. Yeah. Okay. Damage minimal. Well, let's say that. That's nice. No, I, need, I think I might need to move the tank away from there. Um. How is this gonna work? We got a shock trooper. We got two shock troopers. That's for the snipers. We should be able to take them both out. Uh, and then if I can send Alicia up there, 
to take a shot at that. Might be able to do something with it. So I'll do my best. See what Oscar can do here. It's kind of good. I see an enemy. There's plenty of them. That's a scout. We don't see the other shock trooper yet. That's the one. Yep. Stupid Imperials. Okay. One of the command points is gone, which is very important. Yes. I should have. I should have figured. Who are these guys? I'm gonna fall back. Just take a take cover. And then you. The orders in order. Not sure what I should do. If I should. Well, depends on what these guys are doing. Yeah, the guy is behind cover. So we have a lot of behind covers. Which means... This guy over here. Yeah, I need a headshot. I mean, I don't need a headshot, but it's better. See what you get? And he's out of ammo. Who are these guys? That's fine. So stand aside. Okay, now Alicia... Hopefully... Is in better health condition than she was okay. before. Come on. I don't actually know that this is gonna work. I hope it does. Now. Oh yeah. Enemy unit sighted. It ruined that tank. Soldiers. That's pretty good. So we're gonna need. Is there any way you can hide there? Oh, that's bad. Let's get her up here. Don't give them an opportunity to attack. It's a shame that their damage is so low. Wait to see what they'll do. The scouts, I mean. Okay. So hopefully. Yeah, this is this is sort of okay. Entering combat. It's turn seven, but it's sort of okay. So the idea here is to bring you down. I should be able to do because it's impossible to not bring you down. Man point, that's good, that's good. You're doing well. Just keep it up. And now also to move away. Because I will need. Make use of the rubble for cover as you proceed. Don't shoot me. I'll need to fix the tank. We're under fire here. Requesting backup. Do you request a backup already? Or are you requesting for my backup? No no. Please try to hurry. Our time is limited. I'm giving it a try, it's difficult to control. Try to take care of them quickly. Okay. So that other tank needs to wait. And I can do it. Oh, right, gotcha. I can do it right now. Let's see how this works. Sixty six hundred and sixty. Thank you. Oh, that's a thousand. That's very good. Okay. So what do I want to do here? The snipers can't tell their health from here. Not health, their uh Well not health. But we are in a good position here to kill both the yeah, we're we're in a good position here. I mean, I I they are behind cover, but we're sort of good. Entering combat. Uh, I'm gonna do you do it with you because you're uh you're actually very mobile. And if I'm lucky... Are there any weak spots in their defenses? Yes. Well, at least in their tanks there are. If I'm lucky, and it's all about being lucky, the problem is that it's just not the luckiest of spots, and also precision with this thing. Let's see what I can do here. Yep. Let's do this one. I think we're gonna pull it off. I think we're gonna pull it off. Okay. Minor damage sustained. That was minor damage. It's a good thing they're not attacking your tre treads, which they should have. Damage minimal. Yep. They're gonna waste all their command, po command points like that. I'm down for this. Uh, unfortunately, it does mean that they. Here we go. I think I'm gonna do something really cool. Let's 
find out. I'm gonna bring their cover down. Come on. Ugh. Well, I wasn't gonna kill him in the first round anyway. So it's fine. And the idea here is to be able to, you know, one hit kill them with the snipers. Even though I might be in the way. I don't like this. Uh, let's do this first. Okay, that's a kill. They didn't lose a command point? That's interesting. Okay, rotating doesn't actually take that, that long. I don't think I can run them down. What? No. No, it's all good. We're just gonna hang out over here. Rotating is kinda nasty. Okay, it's sniper time. I think I'll be okay. Maybe. Huh. You say so. It's complicated. Okay, so they are very visible. Easy work. You son of a... He has the cheek. The gall to say it's an easy mark. Order's in order. Okay. Mouse. Okay, that's a kill. See what you get? Good. That makes things a bit easier. Okay. You say so. We don't have many more turns. So, yeah, I could have had them all killed right now. No, I couldn't. So long. Oh, that's not a problem. Stop. It's not a problem because Alicia is coming in. Um, yeah, I couldn't have had them all killed. I could have had that thing captured, but I don't know if I will still be able to do that. Please don't see me. Stop it, stop it. Lucky. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Use the watchtowers. That's ours. Is that mission complete? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Nice work. We've occupied the enemy encampment at the bridge's end. Drawbridge control room secured, Welks. Excellent. Open it up, Ys. Let's see how their tanks like the river. That's right. He calls her Is, and he didn't like that she called her. She called him Helks. Yes, sir. That's that's kind of complicated. Ragnite turbines on. Stand by to raise drawbridge. D rank. Okay, now we're talking. And we got a lot of doctorates there. Very nice. Oh! That's a cool way of doing a drawbridge. I'm not sure it works. But it's a cool way. That's a really cool way. I like it a lot. Weaponry tab has been updated. There's a new th lo load of new things. We need to go to the headquarters. Return to headquarters. What do you mean return? I suppose I know what. Oh, War Cemetery. What does that mean? Paying your respects. 
Sorry. I suppose that was a foolish question. Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. Oh. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. That and seeing this much death reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. He's a bit of a psychopath. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader, hmm? Very impressive for a young man. You should see the 16-year-old doctor. She's like the best. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. One wrong order from me and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Oof. Now, let's see. I'll teach you healing request today. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied unit's wounds. Well, what is your decision? It'll cost you 6,500 experience in order to request healing request. Yes, absolutely. That is a nice one. Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Mr. Cemetery Man. Good stuff. And we have Castlefront Street. Read the writing on the wall, published regularly. I probably should have come here before. Hey, oh. Lieutenant. Hi. Off duty today? Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? Sure, I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy-sweet propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things were only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this, out of sight from those government goons. I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah, come by and have a read sometime. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Um, it's just an interesting perspective. Censorship uh, in the 19th, in the 20th century, anyway. Um, I'm not sure about wartime censorship, although there are there, those definitely existed. Like, uh, and I'm not saying like Germany, because you'd expect Germany and and other fascist states to, to have that. But even even Allied states had that. Um, and here in Portugal, we definitely have that. Learning about the censorship. That's li that's li that's literally what we call it the censorship throughout the uh, the fascist regime that we had here from 1938 I think 36 I think maybe uh, up until 74 was a large part of the education that I got in school and just learning the influences of that in just everything that people learned and knew and. Uh, I guess it's from a different perspective because, I mean, now we learn things and we have always sort of the historical perspective. It's very hard to have an historical perspective on our current day. And I'm talking this from the, this character's standpoint. She just puts it in, it's the bad stuff too. 
Yeah, countering counterintelligence people. Actually, counterintelligence is a different thing. Counter information. Counter information. Counter no, yeah, counter information. I think is the name. That's not really what it is. Uh, doing uncensored things is just. Uh, it's usually punished tremendously, because that's the way censorship works anyway. It needs to be. It needs to be a broad and wide-reaching operation for it to actually work. Uh, otherwise, it's just you just make it worse, because uh, it's a little bit like the Streisand effect or something. Um, but the influence that it that it has from an information standpoint is more or less what she says, in the sense that you know it's it's a lot of things are censored and some of it is just turned into flat-out propaganda. But she just made it sound like. Now I'm I just I just you know I, I don't censor my stuff and it, you know it's just the good and the bad when historically speaking at least here in Portugal anyway if you didn't do censored stuff you were basically a rebel you were considered a traitor to the nation and you were going to prison uh, and you were you did go to prison uh, I I know people who ha I personally know people who have been in prison for reading uncensored stuff let alone publishing it um, and. Um, and uh, that stuff wasn't just uh, the normal news, except with uh, with the uncensored stuff. It was specifically the stuff that would be censored. Uh, but here is just sort of a, like a, a laissez-faire thing. Is it laissez-faire? That's not laissez-faire. That just means that, that's a different thing altogether. Anyway, we have the. It's not. It's not the paint, the writing on the wall. It's the Gallian Tribune. Signs of a Gallian resistance. Let's see what we have over here. In an interview given on the 8th, a spokesman for the Central Gallian Armed Forces suggested a massive anti-imperial counter-strike brewing. Should this come to pass, all eyes will be on how a force that has thus far specialized in retreat can stem the imperial incursion that claimed most of Gallia by last month's end and now stands before the gates of Rendegris. Press uh, A. It seems the militia will join the army proper on this bid to free the capital from a siege, a fear that has persisted for weeks now. Some suggest that this move is due to the army's desire to conserve its own manpower for combat within the city's walls, a very real possibility should this plan fail. I think maybe the reason why she just put it in that in those terms is because this is just a normal newspaper. <laughs> it's not it's not it's not you know, it's not rebel information. It's not a, a rebel uh, what's the word? Uh like pu publication it's just you know it's just the things Let's see what else we have the empire owned and run uh, Tari's news outlet reported on the 6th that imperial forces have claimed the coastal federation city of Valua it if true the empire would now hold a supply route for Ragnite transit greatly influencing their standing in southern Europa Unlike the northern provinces, Europa's south lacks for Ragnite, meaning that supplies must be shipped in from elsewhere to sustain the Empire's offensive. The Empire's hold on Europa's southern coast means expansion of the conflict to all areas of the continent is more likely now than ever before. The Federation has yet to issue a statement regarding the Empire's alleged seizure of Valua at this time. And while you're here... I want to put a book out someday, right? To put the truth in the hands of the people. Oh, and by the way, uh, a lot of the work against censorship was done through the radio. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd uh, tune in to special news stations at certain times of day to, lo to listen in. And, uh, yeah, there's uh, my, my dad tells stories of that because he was alive at the end of the regime. Uh, yeah, and it's all very secret and stuff. But I'm just a radio news grunt, you know? I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket. So, I figured I'd ask you. Think you could find it in your wallet's heart to help a girl get started? I have a lot of doctors. I'd make it worth your while. You guys could feature in the book I write. I still haven't decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. See this fat stack of notes? I've got a ton of material already. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. Please. Oh. That piece is on the member of Squad 7. Ellet Embedded. Purchase this interview content? Sure. <laughs> Thanks a million. And there it is. I plan on putting out new editions periodically, so drop by to check it out often. 
Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. Counting on you is a, a, a very, very Japanese expression. Not those words, evidently, but the, 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 the how we say it in Japanese is so often said in anime, anyway. Um, uh, so, what I want to do before we say goodbye, I want to go to the command room. No, not the command room. Hi. Hello, Welkin. Here to fine-tune your squad. Oh, and there have been some new recruits. You should take a look at the master list. Thank you. Uh, no, but no recruits for me. I need to go Come to... Come back anytime you need to change your lineup. Absolutely. Uh, I need to go into the training field. I need to level up these people. And then I'll go into the R&D. Welcome to your worst nightmare! No. Nope. Train all you want! Uh, so we, I want uh, my snipers most likely to be higher level. I want my shock troopers, honestly. I need, they need to be a little bit faster, uh, and I need my scouts to be a little bit better as well. And that's about that. You're better. There we go. Good work. Nope. Looks like. Looks. I like that. Put it under the dead though. A potential Come info. I, I didn't look at that. I should have. Army facility. Now these guys, they're a lot more nicer. Welkin, bro. I'm stoked you're here, man. What can I do you for? I develop weapons, obviously. Rifles. It's, it doesn't really matter because you can switch between the things in here. So we have the rifles. This is for accuracy. and on. That's really expensive. But I'll go with that. Here you go. And then machine guns, firepower, sniper rifles for extra accuracy, absolutely. And uh, some grenades, extra defense. Here you go. Yep. And armor. We have the blast suit still. All set. And that's that. Let's go go look over here at the Veldivrin. Body enhancements. Reinforced body. Oh, now we have the things. Steel upgrade? Wait. Rolled steel. Body defense plus 20. Why is it... Oh, because of the defense. Because one thing is HP. And another thing is defense. Drive system. Leaf spring. Spare belt. Radiator upgrade. Expand capacity for an extra magazine. That's not too bad. I don't think I have money. Oh, I should have money for all these. It doesn't show the uh, the uh, the little thing. So, tread HP, tread defense, critical defense. No, I need speed. That's what I need. Oh, that's extra range. I like that. The barrel protector does extra range. And also, I would like that. So there it is. Come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. Yeah, and uh, we will come back eventually. Uh, but for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Valkyria Chronicles. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.